Remember we told you about Matthew Charles? Now, he had served 21 years in prison for dealing drugs. He was released in 2016. That was part of a federal program meant to cut prison time for non-violent offenders. Well, the government appealed his release, ordered him back to prison, and that's where he is now. Sean Hopwood is Matthew Charles' attorney, and he joins us right now on Varney & Company. Sir, President Trump really does not like drug dealers. Therefore, are you going to get his support to get Matthew Charles out? Well, I think the president has spoken about his view of uh, people who commit drug offenses should be punished harshly. But Matthew Charles has. Matthew served 21 years, completely reformed and changed his life. He's one of the few federal prisoners I've ever heard of yep. who spent 21 years in prison without getting in trouble one time. And then when he gets out, he's proved that he's earned a second chance because he gets a job, he starts a community with his church, starts a serious relationship with his girlfriend, and most importantly, without any reason to do so, he volunteers every Saturday at a soup kitchen for the homeless. Well, look, obviously, he's a model kind of guy since his release, and now he's back in jail. But I have to remind you that Dinesh D'Souza was pardoned his pardon, nothing to do with drugs. Martha, Martha Stewart, pardon, nothing to do with drugs. Blagojevich, t sentence commuted, nothing to do with drugs. Uh, you, you've got a problem, I think, because Matthew Charles, although he's a reformed guy, he was originally involved in drugs and the president doesn't like it. Yeah, but I also think the president will understand that there is no reason to keep Matthew Charles in prison for 10 more years. He's served significant punishment, 21 years in federal prison, and now he's a model inmate. Well, and Sean, have you heard anything from the president which would indicate there's a possibility of a pardon? The, the White House knows about Matthew's case and knows about the injustice, and I should be clear, we're not seeking a pardon. What we're seeking is a commutation of his sentence. Okay. We're merely asking the president to commute his sentence as time served and put him back with his community and back with his family that dearly wants him back. Have you any indication that the president is sympathetic to the cause? I think the president will understand that there's no reason to continue to lock Matthew Charles up and that it won't make the public safer and that it's expensive and that Matthew Charles has earned his right to a second chance. The president talked about second chances just a few weeks ago in the context of a federal prison reform bill where he said the United States needs to give people second chances and sometimes even third chances. Um, Sean, I just want to check my facts here. Uh, Matthew Charles is back in prison as we speak, is that correct? He is in county jail waiting to be transferred to back to federal prison. And he could be in federal prison for another 10 years? Nine to 10 years, yes, unless the yeah. president acts and gets him home back to his family. Okay. Sean, thanks for joining us this morning. We are very Thanks for having in the case. Me. Yes, sir. Thank you very much.